Hi there. Now in this video, I want to show you how we go about solving this quadratic inequality. So if you'd like to have a go at it and haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So in order to solve a quadratic inequality, we've got to rearrange it and make sure that it's either greater than or less than zero. In this example, I'm just going to subtract the 36 from both sides. So we end up with x squared minus 9x minus the 36 is less than or equal to zero. And then check out to see whether you can factorize it. Okay, this one does factorize. If it doesn't factorize, you can always use the quadratic formula. So we've got that this is an x and an x, and then I can see that for minus 36, all I need is minus 12 multiplied with plus 3. And that, when expanded, will give me the 3x minus 12x, which is the minus 9x. And at this point, you have to find the critical values. If you're unsure about solving quadratic inequalities, do check out my videos on my website. OK, I've got plenty of tutorials on this type of work. So the critical values are where each of these factors equals 0. So we therefore have x minus 12 will equal 0. Or the other factor, that's x plus 3, that's going to equal 0. And if that's the case for x minus 12 equaling 0, adding 12 to both sides gives us x equals 12. And for x plus 3 equaling 0, if we subtract 3 from both sides, we end up with x equaling minus 3. Now, once you've got the critical values, in the usual way, what you need to do is just sketch the graph. So I'm just going to set up my axes here. We'll have x there and the y-axis. Now the curve I'm going to draw is y equals x squared minus 9x minus 36, or better still, the factorized version of that. So let's just put it up here. y equals x minus 12 multiplied by x plus 3. And the critical values give us the values of x where y would be 0. And those values then are minus 3, so I'll mark that off on the x-axis here, and 12. It's not drawn to scale, but that's not really so much the point here. We just want to get the shape of the curve. And it's a positive x-squared curve, so it's going to be u-shaped, and it's going to go through these points. So you're going to get something looking like this. Okay, So we've got our u-shaped parabola. Now, we're looking for where the y-value is less than or equal to 0. And that means that y has to be below the x-axis. And that's going to occur in this interval from minus 3 to 12. But because we've got an equal sign here, we also need the values of minus 3 and 12. So when it comes to our solution, we can say that therefore from the graph, the values that we're looking for are values of x, which are greater than or equal to minus 3, but less than or equal to 12. And that's our solution.